been three years since the so-called summer of love when Seattle police abandoned the East Precinct and allowed demonstrators to create the Capitol Hill Occupied Protest, or CHOP. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 11. I'm David Rose. Tonight, a new report has been released on whether then-Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best violated policies during the 2020 protests. Fox 13 News reporter Zach Anders has been looking into the investigation by the Office of Police Accountability, and he joins us now from the newsroom with more. Zach? This new report addressed multiple claims against former Chief Best, including that she intentionally made false statements to the press, that she was wrong to say that a violent crowd prevented officers from getting emergency treatment to the shooting victims inside CHOP. The findings, for the most part, insufficient evidence when holding Chief Best's actions against SPD policy, as investigators were apparently without their most sought-after element, direct testimony. Mayor Harrell wrote to this frustration multiple times in the report, stating that he expressed, quote, disappointment in Chief Best's refusal to sit for an interview on this matter, that it, quote, prevented a full assessment of the propriety of her actions during an important moment in the history of Seattle. The claims against her centered primarily on what the former chief was saying throughout the existence of CHOP as it was alleged that she intentionally made false statements, like that armed individuals were, quote, patrolling CHOP and that, quote, may be demanding payment from business owners in exchange for protection. But the independent investigator concluded there was some factual support for this statement on armed patrols, except for the claim of extortion, which was based on a tweet from an unverified source and was, quote, not properly vetted or corroborated. But the most consequential decision of Chief Best's tenure came after fatal shootings inside the zone. She claimed, quote, a violent crowd prevented SPD officers from safely accessing and providing medical treatment to two shooting victims. Here, investigators determined that while the crowd was hostile toward police at that moment, it was, quote, not factually accurate to say the crowd prevented first responders from providing medical treatment and that hers was a, quote, misleading account of what had occurred. The report ends by repeating there was insufficient evidence in part due to a refusal to comply with the investigation and ultimately that discipline could not be imposed as she is no longer an SPD employee. While the inquiry into former Chief Best has now closed, the CHOP saga shifts to the remaining figures of the time, one of those being former Mayor Jenny Durkin. You may remember the city has already settled with two whistleblowers and the Seattle Times for over $2 million, acknowledging more than 2,000 2, texts were deleted from her phone. Those texts from June and July of 2020. The King County Sheriff's Office has been investigating the missing texts since August of last year. And of course, there are the lawsuits. The city has already settled over three and a half million with businesses around CHOP for the disruptions, but the suits involving the shooting victims are still active. From the newsroom tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.